Hi, my name is Mike Wilch. Today we are going to be looking at the advanced selection feature on the payment selection screen. In this video, we will be looking at what the advanced selection feature is and how to use it. The advanced selection feature allows you to create more complex selection criteria for payment selection. It allows users to form their own SQL statement. Let's go to Microsoft Dynamics SL and take a look at the advanced selection feature. You will go to Financials, Accounts Payable, and Payment Selection. The Payment Selection screen is used to select multiple documents for payment. You have the option of selecting the period to post, checking account, and checking subaccount you want this payment to be made in. You also can use the check printing date and next check printing date. For the selection process, you have the options of selecting your payments by pay date, reference number, vendor ID, or company ID. In this case, we'll leave it as pay date. You also have the currency selection option, which allows you to choose same currency as check or all currency. And in this case, we'll leave it as same currency as check. Now let's go to the preview to see all the payments that are currently selected. You will notice there are a number of vouchers selected for payment. Now let's say we only want to pay vouchers for vendors that are classified as employees. To do that, we'll close out of here, go to Advanced Select. For the Select field, we will choose Vendor Class. Operator will be equal. In value, we will do EMP or employee. If you want it, you can click the view select statement to view what the SQL statement looks like. This is a read only view of the select statement based on the options you selected in the advanced selection subscreen. The top part is a SQL statement from the payment selection screen, and the bottom part is the advanced select statement, which then is combined with the above statement when the system selects the vouchers for payment. Let's now go to the preview to see which vouchers are selected for payment. You will see that there are three vouchers now selected for payment of the vendors that are classified as an employee. Now let's say we wanted to only select payments where the vendor class is employee and for only batch numbers 000122 and 000124. Let's go back to the advanced selection screen. You will add select field batch number equals 000122. And this will change to or. And then batch number equals 000124. You can take a look at the SQL statement this creates again. And then we can go to the preview. And you will see now that it has selected two vouchers for payments. Now we are ready to begin processing. If you go to the check preview and click preview, you will see that there are only two checks to be printed now. This is only one example of how to use the advanced selection feature, but you can use this feature to set up many different criteria selections. This concludes the process of how to use the advanced selection feature in the payment selection screen. I hope this video was helpful.